So imagine a situation where you have a medium voltage switch here as you can see on the screen and you have connected the incoming cables to the bus bar like you can see here on the right hand side. Now while tightening this cables to the bus bar maybe one joint is not sufficiently tightened and as a result there is a very tiny sparking happening and that sparking is small enough that it is not visible to the human eye. Maybe it is generating the hotspot because of that. And when you go to the monitoring of these things or when you go to the inspection, you, you won't even notice this, right? Because it's so small and it is slowly developing at the hotspot to the bus bar. Maybe uh, due, in the due course of time, five years, 10 years down the line, suddenly you will notice that there is a big blast, a fire is coming out of the switch gear, right? Internal arc basically. And this is the worst situation. Imagine if somebody is working near to that panel, um, the life of that person can be in danger. It can even damage the switch gears that are nearby. So certainly it's a worst condition to see. But this condition can be avoided with the help of this switch gear monitoring system. In this video, we are going to talk about what is switch gear monitoring, why we should do it and how we can do it. So we saw the situation that can occur because of that small hotspot that is generating near to the joint. But that is just the one example. There are multiple examples for that. You can see here on the screen. So worse, one of the most critical point is this cable termination points. Then also if you're using a removable circuit breaker or a withdrawable circuit breaker, which can be removed from the panel as and when needed, uh, the cable joint, sorry, the bus bar joint and the circuit breaker joint can develop loose contacts. Maybe the springs are not tight enough and uh, the contacts will be loose. And here the hotspot can be generated. The little sparkings can be noticed. Or even uh, when we are connecting the two different panels, bus bar to bus bar, uh, that can also develop this hotspot if the joints are not proper. Not even this, for the outdoor switchgear, for example, circuit breaker, which is filled with the SF6 gas, if the gas leak is happening and it is not even noticed, then it can create a problem. For example, if you are having a SF6 gas filled circuit breaker and the gas is leaking, and when the gas leak be above a certain limit and the gas pressure drops below a certain limit, then the circuit breaker goes into a lockout condition which means that the breaker will remain in the same position as it is. It will not operate. It will not turn on, turn off. Anything uh, will not be happening. So to make the circuit breaker um, to back its normal position or to get out of the lockout condition, you need to fill the pressure. You need to fill the SF6 gas to the rated pressure and then only the breaker will operate. And this type of situation is not so good situation, right? We, we should not be having this situation. And all of this can be avoided if we are having a switch gear monitoring system, right? So for example, let's say we want to check if there are some hotspot generating. So how do we do that? How do we check if there are some hotspot uh, generating or not? So what we can do is maybe we can send somebody uh, there near to this panel and with the IR gun monitor the temperature here. If the temperature is within limit, that means everything is all right. Nothing is wrong with that. But this idea or this method is not so efficient because we will be doing that at a certain frequency, at a certain period. And maybe if you're doing the maintenance uh, once in a year, so maybe during that year, the worst situation can occur. And that's not even a monitoring, that's just the taking the reading of uh, different things. Monitoring is different, monitoring is continuous. Right. And switch gear monitoring basically refers to that only. So it is basically a continuous tracking of the performance and condition of the switch gear so that we can ensure that switch gear operates safely and we have a reliable power system. So when we use the word monitoring, it means it has to be continuous. Now, if you notice uh, in every SF6 gas field circuit breaker, we do provide a gas density monitor. 
the word is monitor that means it's going to monitor the density of the gas 24 7 and 365 days that is what we refer to as monitoring if you are going and taking the readings at a particular interval and then it's not monitoring monitoring is something that is continuous and basically switchgear monitoring refers to that only it is monitoring of the different performance uh, the condition of the switchgear when we monitor that 24 7 uh, what we can say is it is a switchgear monitoring clear so that is the switchgear monitoring now let us go and understand why we should monitor the switchgear so first and the most important thing is safety now you remember we talked about the worst situation that can occur because we ignored or we didn't notice the hotspot that is generating at the cable termination point so if that situation occurs the human life can be in danger it can damage the whole substation it can damage the switch gears that are near uh, to that faulty panel so to make sure that the switch gears are safe to operate a switch gear monitoring can be done then uh, for better reliability of course when you know that uh, there are switch gear your switch gear is in good health then you will have better reliability whenever you can you notice that okay this particular part of the switch gear is not performing well or it is going into some trouble then you can quickly replace that with the better one so that you can avoid uh, the unplanned downtime which is one of the benefits of having the switch gear, um, switch gear monitoring system to avoid the unplanned downtime because you know better you have the data uh, how your switch gear is performing and with the latest technology even the switch gear monitoring system can predict the mechanical life cycle trend of the switch gear so with that you can certainly avoid the unplanned uh, downtime and then with all of this if you are using this for a longer time you can certainly have a cost saving because uh, taking this reading monitoring the switch gear uh, is a labor intensive task previously for example especially in the case if you are having outdoor ais substations where you need to go into the yard physically take the take out the temperature reading or check if there is a gas leakage or something and then report it back so it's a time consuming activity it's a labor intensive activity and it will consume a lot of money but with the modern solutions if you are using the monitoring solutions uh, then you will certainly be saving a lot of cost with that so these are the four bullet points four major contributing factors uh, of telling why you should monitor your switch gear now the question is how do we monitor so we saw there are a lot of uh, things we have temperature we have the context monitoring and also the circuit breaker monitoring the bus bar joints uh, even the temperature because the temperature uh, not the temperature what i mean is um, atmosphere monitoring so if there is humidity inside the panel it can cause trouble so that things must be monitored so the question is how do we monitor that now in the previous case in the old fashioned way let's say if you want to monitor the temperature you have to carry out the ir gun and uh, you have, with the help of that you need to monitor monitor the temperature again it's not even monitoring it's basically tracking something on a periodic level so that's how you used to do it but now with the recent advancement in the sensors and all uh, all of that trouble is resolved so we now have sensors for different things so for example we have thermal sensor to monitor uh, the different temperature at different levels so you can see we can place that at the different joint at the cable termination at the bus bar joint and it will give you the real time temperature data 24 7 365 days and this is what we call as monitoring right similarly we have partial discharge sensors installed also which can monitor and give the details about that then there is arc flash protection relay we also have environmental sensors which can tell about the humidity inside the panel and everything all these sensors are then connected to the iot devices which then can transfer the data to the cloud and from the cloud you can access it on your mobile devices so that's how uh, the monitoring is simplified now with the help of uh, the sensors and digital advancement 
now we have talked about what are the critical parameters that you must monitor how you can monitor and what are the advantages of this digital monitoring system over the conventional method with an uh, industry experts uh, in our playlist the electrical guy power panel if you haven't seen that then i'll strongly recommend you should go and uh, check that out if you want to know more about the switchgear monitor i'll provide link for it down in the description definitely go and check it out to know more about switchgear monitoring so i hope you have got an idea about a basic idea about what is switchgear monitoring why we should do it and how it can be done so that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning